Hi, Carl Winkler here at Electrosonics. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of the Duet Digital Wireless Monitor System. The Duet system was developed with a wide range of professional users in mind, from touring performers to broadcasters and filmmakers. First, let's look at the highlights. Then we'll do a quick setup and get it up and running. First, the Duet uses digital RF modulation and 24-bit digital audio for superb operating range and audio fidelity. Unlike analog systems, the Duet maintains the full dynamic range and channel separation of a wired IEM. Next, the Duet M2T is a half-rack unit containing two stereo transmitters. This means you can fit up to four stereo transmitters or up to eight mono audio feeds in a single rack space. The Duet can easily be used as an IFB system with mono audio channels because of the excellent channel separation. And in doing so, you can save half the number of rack spaces versus a traditional analog IFB. The M2T transmitter can accept inputs either via analog or via Dante Digital Networked Audio. The Dante input card is optional on the M2T. The version without it is called the M2T-ND. The tuning range of the M2 system covers from 470 to 608 MHz for the U.S. market or up to 614 MHz for export models, thus offering more than 6,000 frequencies. The M2T can be connected to wireless designer via Ethernet or USB so that frequencies can be coordinated as part of a larger wireless mic system. Then all channels can be monitored on a single screen. One concern of any IEM system is latency, and the Duet is ultra-fast. Latency for analog to analog is 1.4 milliseconds. If the signal comes in via the Dante port, the latency is 1 millisecond over the native latency of the Dante stream. Both the transmitter and the receiver feature high-resolution color displays. Let's take a quick look at the screens and menus in each. Starting with the M2T, upon power-up, you'll see that there is an option to turn on the RF for each transmitter or not. If you have a fixed installation, where the frequencies won't change very often, you might want to power up to transmit automatically. For touring, it's likely that you'll change frequencies often. In that case, you might want to have it power up with no transmission until you program it with your frequencies for the day. Either way, you can check the box to have it remember your choice for the next time. Once you've gotten past the RF on choice dialog, you'll see the main operation monitoring screen. Here, you'll see activity on all four audio channels, whether they are fed via digital or analog signals, whether or not your RF carriers are on, and the transmitter channel names. Here, you can also see your headphone monitoring selections, which can be changed quickly via the soft keys below the screen. Upon pressing the Menu button, you'll see all the menu options. The following screens allow you to enable the RF and set your transmit power levels at 50, 25, or 10 milliwatts, manually tune the operating frequencies, sync your receivers, set your audio levels, audio polarity, and audio input type, whether analog or digital. You can see and change your network settings if using Wireless Designer over Ethernet. One of the more interesting features in the Duet system is the Flex List. In short, it allows you to easily set up a list of profiles in the receiver so that a monitor engineer or location mixer can quickly and easily listen to any of the mixes on site by selecting them from the list by name. Finally, the Links page takes you via QR codes to the Electrosonics homepage, the Duet product page, or to our YouTube channel for the latest videos. Receiver menus are equally rich, allowing you to scan the local RF spectrum, manually or automatically tune the receiver, set your left-right balance, decide whether you want to use the unit as a stereo or a mono receiver, and set your dynamic range using a full-featured limiter. Additionally, you can add high-frequency boost, set the backlight timeout, or lock and unlock the front panel controls. For more details about the receiver menus and settings, check out the separate video on the M2R. Okay, so let's do a quick setup with the M2 Duet hardware. With the RF off, let's choose how we'll feed the audio to the transmitter. Our setup here is using Dante Networked Audio as the source. After selecting that, you should see audio on the channel meters if you're sending a signal. If analog, you want to set the input for the appropriate signal level, 
either at plus 4 dBU or minus 10 dBV. And then adjust the trim if necessary, or adjust the level you are sending from the console. In either case, you ideally want to see the meters reaching as close as possible to the top of the scale on peaks, but no overloads. Next, you'll want to do a spectrum scan on the receiver, and this is the first item in the menu. Once that is completed at full cycle, press the menu button again to stop the scan, then press menu again to zoom in. Now use the arrow keys to scroll until you find a low spot in the RF energy and place your cursor there. Press back and then keep to tune your receiver to this frequency. Next, tune your transmitter frequency by going to the sync settings screen, hold your receiver close to the transmitter front panel, and select get freak. Press select, then go, and your transmitter is now tuned. Turn on the transmitter RF, and now you should see audio on the meters on the receiver. Keep in mind, the M2R can get quite loud. Always start with the volume at minimum when connecting your headphones or earphones. Once you have your audio signal, you can adjust the volume to taste. You can also adjust balance, limiter, and high frequency boost if needed. Don't forget to get settings in the transmitter so that if you want to duplicate those settings in another receiver or store them as a file using Wireless Designer, it takes just seconds. As you can see, the Duet system is full of advanced features and offers tremendous flexibility. At the same time, it's very quick to set up and easy to use. For more information about this or any Electrosonics product, please visit Electrosonics.com. This is the first of several videos about the Duet. Be sure to see them all. I'm Carl Winkler at Electrosonics, and thanks for watching.